everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing amazing this morning and we'll be taking a look at what is going on across the atlantic but also could we see some of a late frontal system affect parts of the caribbean or bring impacts to parts of the caribbean as we're going to be heading into the late part of the new week we'll be taking a look at what both the gfs and the euro models are forecasting but for now we're looking at the infrared satellites and we can see that there is some activity around here and there. There's been some severe weather across parts of the United States. And uh, as we look to the Caribbean, much is not really happening as expected for the time of year. And then uh, parts of Northern and South America likely experiencing some shower and thunderstorm activity, such as in Colombia, Venezuela, and uh, maybe some cloud cover with some showers for the Guyanas. Zooming into the Caribbean region, there are a few showers still loitering around. Uh, parts of the Lesser Antilles, such as Martinique, uh, maybe even near St. Lucia and St. Vincent, even going up to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But uh, for the most part, there's no significant convection across the region at this time. Going to the rainfall forecast, here we can see what Euro is forecasting as we head through the rest of today. And we're seeing some of those green and even some spots of yellows popping up. So maybe some decent downpours in parts of Puerto Rico, even towards the Dominican Republic, and uh, some spots in Haiti may experience a few showers as well. Nothing too crazy. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, similar story. Cuba should be dry for the most part. Over to uh, Central America, there may be some showers around, especially going to Costa Rica, Panama. There could be some uh, substantial rain in some areas. May not be very widespread, though. Then for Northern South America, as we saw, there are some thunderstorms in parts of Colombia and Southern Venezuela as well. So there may be some additional showers going to Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. There may also be some additional rainfall as we head through today. ABC Islands should be on the dry side, a few showers possible near Trinidad and Tobago, and also within the vicinity of the rest of the Lesser Antilles. It's also going to be a pretty windy day today. It's been windy and will remain that way for the most part across the Caribbean. Looking at what the Euro model is showing here, we can see those purple and those blue shadings popping up as well. So the offshore Colombia right there and within the vicinity of the ABC Islands. Uh, offshore Belize, the Bay Islands, and near Mexico, we can see some of those blue shadings popping up as well. So it's likely to be pretty windy across much of the Caribbean region as we head through today. Now, uh, before we talk about that next potential frontal system, which could bring some impact, let's go on to the Saharan earlier forecast. So as we're going to be heading into later this afternoon, uh, there's likely to be some dust moving into parts of South America, the Guyanas, also Trinidad and Tobago. So those brownish hues indicate the Saharan dust. And the darker the brown, the higher the concentration of dust within that area. As we head to tomorrow morning, we see that more islands of the uh, Southeast Caribbean, Grenada, the Grenadine, St. Vincent, Barbados, will uh, be blanketed by some of this dust. It's not a very dense plume of dust, but nonetheless, uh, it is going to be moving in. And then even as we head into uh, Monday, we can see that it extends even more into the Caribbean region. So uh, that's a forecast in terms of the Saharan dust. And now we're moving on to what models are expected. So this is what Euro has as we're going to be heading into Saturday of the coming week, Saturday evening, the 23rd of March. There we can see that area of low pressure offshore of the southeast states and all of that associated activity uh, moving into parts of the Bahamas, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and Jamaica as well. And as that low loiters, uh, the tail of it makes its way across the greater Antilles to the east. And as we head into Monday, there we can see all that activity continuing to make its way through. So pretty interesting here. And uh, meanwhile, there is going to be drier conditions in the South Caribbean and for most of the eastern islands, which are already experiencing uh, drought conditions. GFS is also showing that low pressure system moving into the Carolinas next Saturday and all this associated activity moving through parts of the Bahamas and the Northern Caribbean as we head towards Sunday going into Monday as well. So uh, here we have both of these models agreeing on this potential system and looking at the GFS simulated infrared satellite. This is what we could see as we head through the week. So this is for the coming Monday, Tuesday, going to Wednesday, the middle of the week. There we see all that activity developing and moving 
through the area. So uh, it's not a guarantee that this is what the satellite imagery is going to look like, but we've got two of our main models, GFS and Euro, expecting that, hey, we could definitely see some uh, impacts from this low pressure system that's going to be offshore the southeastern US. So uh, it's no certainty that what we're seeing right now is going to come to fruition. The system could remain further north of the Caribbean and not bring any substantial impacts. Meanwhile, it could go along with what we're seeing here and we could actually uh, experience maybe some increased rainfall and windy conditions in parts of the northern Caribbean. But not a guarantee, as I said, and I'll be watching the models for consistency and keeping you guys updated on this as we head through the week. And of course, tomorrow is my next countdown video to the official start of hurricane season. I'll be talking a bit about that. And uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I really do hope you found it to be very informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.